Hey everyone, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot. All right, let's see, Cancers. What do you need to know right now? We have here, time spent apart from a loved one will be inevitable. What else does Cancer need to know right now? Be weary of someone you consider a close friend. Their intentions are not pure. We'll take one more. It says here, um, you have faced many trials and tribulations. Your strength to endure will not be in vain. A fresh beginning that will lighten your load and offer endless potential will soon begin for you. All right, so that's what you need to know right now. Let's look into this time spent apart from a loved one. That's inevitable. We got here the magician. So something, there is something that's not manifesting for you right now. And I feel like because it's not manifesting for you right now, it's really making, it's really causing some sort of stress and anxiety for you. It's like you want to be with this loved one and not being able to be with them is really bothering you. Maybe making it hard for you to sleep, concentrate, focus. Um, this is a past love with the Six of Cups, past life connection. This is someone you have fond memories of. This is not someone you have bad memories of. This is fond memories. And that that's why it's probably stressing some of you out because you have a fondness for this person. Or you will, if this is someone new, you may have like a past life connection. We got here the Four of Pentacles. So whoever this person is, Cancers, I feel as though this person is holding on to you. Interesting. They're holding on to you. What are they holding on to you about? Oh, yeah. The, the, you caught them off guard with this tower. There was something about this connection. That's why time apart, too. You caught this person off guard. But I do feel like this person is very stubborn to this connection. It's like they're, they're, they don't want to give in to this connection because they don't want to lose themselves in this connection. I feel like whoever this person is, you could have been introduced by someone else. Like some, maybe like you, will, you know this person or you will know this person through another person. Yeah, but they turn they're turning it down. They sabotage they sabotage their chance. Or they will. For some of you this hasn't happened and for others this is in the process of happening. This person sabotaged their chance. And I feel like they have trust issues. They don't trust women, male or female. This person does not trust women. But I feel like a friend or there's either either there's a friend that's going to introduce you or there's something around a friend that speaks highly of you. But this person is like, nope, 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 nope. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want to date this person or I don't want to give in to this person. Like someone is in their ear actually speaking highly of you to them or encouraging them to give you a chance. Yeah, see, they're thinking about it now. Now they're thinking about it. We got, oh, King of Cups is coming in. This person is in love. This could be a fellow water sign for some of you. But either way, this person is in love. What, what is the deal, though? You got here the Queen of Wands. They find you very attractive. I told you there's a friend. The Queen of Swords. There is a friend. There is someone. I told you guys. There is someone talking to them. About you. And I'm seeing here. This person is like really 
and like they are really attracted to you physically attracted to you and in love with you they find you to be very attractive and this is someone that's successful as well whoever this person is they're a very successful confident person they're also attractive too but there is a this there is a woman a woman friend that I feel like has been trying to help them this is actually the one person that they do trust so it could be like a sister or a mother it, it's a sis, it could be a sister or a mother or someone that they see like have like high regard for they've been communicating with them about you We got here hollow career. Yeah, they're very successful in their career. They don't they don't want to feel these feelings that they have for you. So uh, as a way to distract themselves from how they feel about you, they focus really heavily on their career. We got planning. Yeah, there's something they may be um Planning. What are they planning? We got here compassion. So it's not them that's planning. It's the friend. The, fr the, the friend is doing something. Whoever this other person is, they're doing something to try to bring the two of you together. They may be saying something and planning to do something. So you may know them through someone or you're going to meet them through another person that's going to be helping to uh, bring the two of you together. We got, yeah, see somebody's experienced previous heartbreak and they decided that they were just going to focus on their money. This person is very rich. I also feel like, why is this friend, why is this friend so adamant about the two of you being together? Let me use this deck. I want to know, why is this friend so adamant about cancers and this person connecting? Because it feels like this friend is like really in you guys' corner, really rooting for you all. We got here, something happened in January. There was something that happened in January. Date at the park. And then we got here Christmas. So that was in December and then January. Some of you could have went on a brief date with this person and then separation. Regardless of whatever, it just feels like connecting and then separation and something happening around December and January. I got to figure that out. Friend, I told you friends. Something happened with the friends trying to like, <coughs> like there's like a couple or this, this, whoever this friend is, they could, or whoever this person is that's trying to bring the two of you together. I feel like they're in love, so they want to see the two of you in love too. I don't know what happened in what happened in January. Cause I feel like they got together with this person around the holiday. But then there was something that happened in January with them and this friend as it pertains to you. The Queen of Pentacles. We got there's what else? Tell me more. I told you there's something around women with this person, siblings. That's what I'm saying. Like they don't trust women outside of their core group. That's why they were, they're also hesitant and experienced heartbreak with a particular woman. See, family, see their family. That's what I'm saying. These are their family members. So this may be someone that has like a lot of sisters or aunts and cousins. Like that's who they trust the most when it comes to women. Like this is not someone that has said, oh, I just, you know, I hate women. They just have trust issues because of who they were with. There is a core group of women that they were spending time with and this family, their core group of family women, they were spending the holidays with this person with these people because it's, it's now it's showing more than one family member that's a woman so these women are very influential in their life 
and I feel like they want to see them in love. One of them is already in the relationship, so they love love, and they want to see this person succeed in love because they feel like this is a good person. And for some reason, they like you. I don't, I don't know, but something, I feel like in, Jan in Christmas, they were hanging around their family, but I'm still trying to understand what happened in January because Christmas would have been December. So what happened in January? Some of you could have, you could have met at the park or you could have went on a date in the park or some sort of brief encounter in public. And then here comes a time apart, but there was something significant around, oh, they started rethinking in January because they were around these women, their family members that were, that was encouraging them to give you a chance. That's what happened. They started to rethink it. See, four of wands, marriage to not give up. And I feel like there is a real there. Someone is like a, a, a religious person or like a mentor, some sort of guide. This person is it's like a mentor, a guide. Um, and look, the nine of swords that I, I feel like here, too. I feel like they started to regret it because some, these people got in their ear. And I feel like they started to regret either that whatever led to time apart from the two of you. They started to regret it. Yeah. Oh, the high priest. This is someone that's very spiritual and intuitive because I feel like initially they dismissed it. And then now they're starting to experience a lot of like spiritual hits. This person, this is interesting. See, the two of cups is in reverse. They didn't want it. I feel like this is someone that rededicated their life back to God, back to their spirituality. There's something like, look at this person. This is like a priest type of energy. Godly type of energy. And I feel like they turned down this connection. That's what I'm saying. They're like a mentor or a guide or someone that's in like, they're really heavily into their spirituality and their religion. And I feel like they were dedicating their life to that. So when you came in, it was like, no, nah, I'm not going to pursue it because I don't want to get distracted. Because previously, they got distracted. Hollow, greed, all about money. Now they're trying to rededicate their life. But I feel like this connection is what's also bringing them closer to you. It's like they can't run from it. Like as they get closer to God, God brings them closer to you. Yep, see judgment, waking them up. Wake up. Wake up. That's what I'm saying. Like they keep getting certain hits, certain spiritual hits to let them know this is your person. Stop denying it. Stop denying it. Stop turning away from it. This is your person. I feel like there is some sort of issue around looks for them though. Because see right here, hollow, can't even see the face. I feel like with that king of wands in reverse, there's something about uh, not feeling very confident if it's not just, if it's not like a look type of thing, not feeling very confident, not feeling like they're very best. Someone could have made them feel that way. A, a, a previous experience made them feel that way. Mm. Okay, let's use this deck. Anything else about this before I wrap it up? So in January, they started rethinking the connection. Put it that way because of after experience after hanging out with their family over the holidays they started uh experience i mean they started rethinking yeah this person felt like you were temptation and didn't want to give in to temptation this is someone that turned their life over to god and wanted to dedicate their life to god and they saw you and being with you because remember i told you this person found finds you incredibly sexy and attractive and they made an oath to be celibate and focus on God. But then here comes that tower moment. God is like, I'm bringing you this person. And the person that I'm bringing you, you're turning away from. And they're like, yeah, see, I just want peace. I told you, gossip friends. See, they see someone, these, their family, these women in their family want to see them in love. Want to see them with someone. 
Yeah, I feel like this person had to go find their way. But in January, they're starting to wake up. They're starting to see a lot of different signs. And I feel like everything that's happening for them is leading them towards you. Let's get a final word around this energy. Birth of a baby. Look, December. Remember we saw Christmas? When I said December and January. And now June. Look at how this is coming together. So I feel like here, this feels as though this is the being together. I feel like finally this December, you all will be together. I feel like in June, there will be a reconciliation. But this is about hanging around, spending the holidays with family and friends, but actually reconnecting in June. And we got birth of a baby. There could be a pregnancy or a birth of a baby. Some of you may be giving birth. Yeah, New Year, there, there is definitely something going on with December, January, and June. All right, I feel like we started out with the past. Like, I feel like around Christmas, they were hanging out with family. Because I feel like this person could have been engaged at one point. I feel like, they, or they were in a relationship, like a, a, a relationship. Because we also, well, we know that they were in a relationship. But I feel like January... You know, people were rallying around them, trying to help them move on. And then now here comes this year, the new year, this January, and then meeting back up in June and actually, you know, spending, this person won't spend any more holidays alone. You won't spend any more holidays alone. You will finally be together. And look, abundance. In a few weeks, say yes to a new adventure. So this could even happen for some of you in a few weeks. Because what is this month? We're in April, May, June. So there could be an invitation. And again, coming together. Hanging out. By June, you'll definitely be together. Yep, a sexy surprise. I told you this person really is attracted to you as well. Tell me about this close friend. So in a few weeks, you may get axed out. Or you guys may be talking, going on dates, but you'll be together in June or by June. It's, I feel like it's going to be different for different people, but you're closer either way than you think. All right, so this friend, oh, this is someone in reverse. Nine, this is someone that's not a Nine of Pentacles. Whoever this friend is that you're to be weary of, this is someone that is not capable of being by themselves. They're like codependent. They need help. And they're coming to cause some sort of drama. This could be someone that's, that has betrayed you or they're trying to come across as if, you know, um, I don't know if they did this to you previously. Because it says here, be weary of someone you consider a close friend. Their intentions are not pure. Maybe they're coming to reconcile with you. Either way, I'm seeing some drama here. Yeah, they want to receive something from you. If they don't get it, they may even get mad. See, Ace of Pentacles. This could be an earth sign or an Aquarius. I'm seeing the star card. Um, we got a lot of earth coming through. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But there is some sort of issue around this person. Like the intentions are not pure. And this person needs financial help. I feel like they may try to use you. But this drama is what's, uh, <clears throat> this drama is what's catching my attention. Let me see. What is this drama about? energy drainer this person will drain you of your energy and everything you've got to give they want from you that's what i'm saying the drama is going to come because they're not able to get from you anymore because i'm seeing here giving so you have a friend that you were giving to whether it was your time your money your energy and i feel like they betrayed you and wanting to come back but their intentions are not pure there, I feel like it will start up again. I feel like there would be drama again with this person. If you give, if you give it to them, it's gonna, it's still gonna lead to some sort of drama. I don't feel like this is someone. Yeah, see, keep shining. Your light irritates their demon. And look, this is someone that does not like you. Ain't that something? Look, it says here a hater. It says here wants to knock you down to size. 
a person that simply cannot be happy for your success points out your flaws to make them feel better. So you have a friend in your life, unimpressed, that does not like your light. They do not like that you're successful. See, you're, you may be someone that's independent and have your own. They don't. That's why they're coming in reverse. They don't have that. They, they're having money issues. And so seeing you shine, seeing you come out on top, seeing you be successful, it irritates them. This is someone that will like say snarky things, passive aggressive. This is someone that will be very passive aggressive for you, towards you, I'm sorry. And again, you and this person could have gotten into some sort of argument, stop talking, and then they're now trying to come back around. But they have not changed. This is someone that still does not like how you receive money because they're jealous. And they don't think whatever it is that you do, they're not impressed. They don't, they don't see why people like you or they don't see why, um, you know, if you're good at us, if you have a talent or gift, they like, ah, that ain't nothing what you do. I could do that too. This is someone who I'm seeing divorce. So this could be someone that's been through a divorce, going through a divorce. It's like their life is just on the downside. And so they can't be happy for you. So you're being warned that they're coming back into your life. But to be careful because they don't have pure intentions. And I feel like they never have pure intentions. This is someone that's not capable of being a friend. We got here, yeah, see, divine union trying to come back. And we got here truth being unveiled about this person. There's something that's going to be revealed. See, poker face. But you're going to be able to read right through it. They're going to come back like, oh, I miss you. Can we make up and be friends again? And the truth is, you can see right through the poker face. See, there's something about your purpose, something about your gift that this person criticized. Something about your intelligence that they criticize. This is like someone that could never be happy for you. And this is someone you wouldn't dare tell your dreams to because they'll shoot them down. Whoever this person is, they will shoot down your dreams. How dare you dream, right? How dare you have purpose? How dare you be successful? That's where the conflict comes in. Your light irritates them. All right. So it says here you have faced many trials and tribulations. So it says what you've gone through will not have been in vain. There's a new beginning that's going to be happening for you soon. What is this new beginning in? Friends, you're going to meet some friends. You got some new people coming in. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like you're having to close out this chapter with these people that are not good for you. That's what was, that's why saying be weary. Someone you consider a close friend, you got to let them go. Now we're about to bring in a new beginning with new people, supportive people, people that are on the same wavelength. And I'm hearing the siren. These will be people where you're going to be able to help each other. This is not someone that's going to be draining your energy and not someone that can't offer you anything, but wants to take everything from you. These are going to be friends that are going to compliment your, you're going to compliment each other's gifts. These will be friends that will be happy for you to be successful, happy to see you in a relationship. I also feel like it feels like you and that other person from the one that you've been spending time apart from, the loved one, it feels like they're like meeting each other. Like you're going to all meet each other's friends. Like your friends will be their friends and their friends will be your friends. But it seems like a really good group of people who get along. It feels couple. It feels like a couple. It feels like but being friends. It feels like couples who are friends. That's what I'm getting here. So you're going to be in union in June with by June or in June with your person, but you're also going to be hanging out with another couple that, that you're going to be friends with. It could even be like that. Remember I was talking about how that family member who's in a relationship, it could even be that person, but you all will be friends too. So it's like family. If it's a family member couple, you all will be friends as well, like travel together, hang out together, do dinners together. Like you all will be friends too. 
And I'm seeing here also, look, surprise engagement. This that you're gonna meet the person that you're gonna get married to, or you know, come back together with that person. And we got here February. It wasn't the right time in February. So there's something significant about December, January, and February that needed to play out. It wasn't the right time. And it says here within the year, don't compare yourself to others. Remember I said that person was not feeling very confident. I feel like they weren't ready then because their confident level, confidence level had been shot down. And we got here moving in together. I'm seeing here a housewarming, people coming to this housewarming, like a, a good couple that the both of you really enjoy being around. And we got here autumn. This is someone that you could have met in the autumn season because there's something significant about autumn and winter and then the spring and summer coming together. So you could have met them in autumn season, went into separation through all, the end of autumn to uh, winter but spring summer coming together it wasn't the right time though that's what I'm saying here yeah email okay, have a call let's get one more card this would be someone I'm seeing a marriage and moving in together and I'm seeing a couple coming to your house yeah see surprise engagement on your birthday this person's going to propose to you on your birthday July so that's what I'm saying. For some of you, it's going to be in a few weeks and you're going to be vacationing and traveling together in June. That's why if, I was like, you're closer than you think for whoever this reading is for. And you're going to be traveling together. So we got June, the end of June, right? And July, birthday, cancer seasons. Um, or even if you're not a cancer son, around your birthday, this person will be proposing to you. All right, so... Um, yeah, but this friends, like I feel like this is saying that this is why what you went through will not be in vain because of what you have to look forward to. And you've been through the toxic tribulations of friends and people that you were dealing with. Now you're about to enter a new season where you're going to have a good group of people to be around. You're going to be traveling. You're going to be getting married. You're going to be moving in with someone. You're going to have abundance with this person. Let me see. Um... I'm going to take two. I want to pull one more thing about what's coming your way with this new beginning. It says a fresh beginning that will lighten your load. This person will compliment you. These people will compliment you. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to be around lopsided relationships. You're going to be around balanced relationships, not dealing with these quote unquote friends that want to take from you but these are people that are going to want to pour into you and you're going to want to pour back into them so that's going to bring in that reciprocity that balance you're going to be feeding each other we got here things work against you but persistence is paying off yep new things on the horizon making dreams real your persistence and not giving up is going to pay off Take one more. We got here mask, disguise, conceal, ego, projection, hidden motive. Um, putting on a show. Putting on that's that person. I'm gonna take one more since we took three cards. That's that person putting on a show that's coming in all nice and sweet, but they're putting on a show. It's gonna lead to some sort of drama because this person is not gonna be able to be happy for you. And we got here letter. It says written communication. You're going to receive some sort of letter. Making contact. Or there's some sort of written document that's coming your way. This is some sort of a romantic document though. I'm seeing a heart right there. A heart pendant. That's a romantic document coming your way. Somebody is going to send you a letter. This is an actual letter. Whether it's coming through an email or through... Um, your mailbox yeah because see we got here indecision so they were indecisive about communicating with you so rather than see the face is being hidden can't show my face 
not feeling very confident about my life or just whatever, not about myself. So I feel like rather than show their face and have a face-to-face -face conversation with you, how they're going to reopen the doors or the reopen the lines of communication, they're going to do something off the beaten path and that's write you a letter. It's like the, the art of writing letters has been lost and I feel like this person is different. They're very good at communicating like via writing or typing up an email. So they may type you up an email expressing themselves or actually send you a letter. And I feel like it's because they're back into their place now. They feel more powerful. See, they were indecisive, but now they're feeling more powerful. They're starting to feel more so like the confident self that they once had. So I also feel they're going to, um, yeah, because see, they feel something deep about you. See, frustrated. Let me write you a letter. Because how can I express the feelings that I have for you? You caught me by surprise with that tower. I wasn't looking for love. So let me write you this letter. To express my feelings. See, look, see typing. Both see typing. This person's gonna type you an email, and for some of you, like I said, it's gonna be a written letter. When they start to feel more better and confident about themselves. But the, the way that they express themselves can be like long-winded, or at least how they feel about you feels like really deep. So they're gonna want to write you a letter, write it out. Because they want to make sure they don't miss anything. And I feel like they're very good and poetic at articulating themselves through written word. That could be the way that they express themselves. Like to so get to a deep level because they have this feeling about you. Some, there's something about you that they feel that they want to be able to express to you in like sitting down with their thoughts and writing it out or emailing it out. Because that's where the frustration comes from. Like wanting to make sure that they can express all of themselves to you. And look, see, getting focused and doing so. Finding the right words. And see, yeah, they, this, this makes them feel good. This is positive. And I feel like they're starting to feel good because they've dropped some sort of dark feminine that they were dealing with. Or dark masculine. Okay, what's the final message for cancers in this reading? Change. Ooh! this goes with what we were talking about look at this I'm bringing a much needed change in your perception and in your physical world around you I'm here to prepare you for your sacred union so they don't mirror the distortions of yourself the time apart was needed for both of you but the change is coming they're coming after you then I say sooner than you think this person is coming in full steam ahead and they're going to have a letter for you. You look at here. Oh, I told you. I'm reuniting you with your soul family to help accelerate your growth here on earth. I told you, you're going to, you, the two of you are going to be with another couple that's also going to help you. Like you're going to have a soul family. This connection is going to be great. It's going to be great for you. Things are going to start to feel more lighter. You're going to start to feel much better by the two of you being together. And again, you're, you're going to be meeting up with another couple. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.